Hey everyone, I'm comic book artist Anthony Legapa. I'm going to show you how to turn your already inked page into a digital form that you can color. Let me show you how it's done. This is just one small step in making your comic, but it's an important one to get these black and white pages into the next phase of color. So here's an example of one of my inked pages. So I have pencils laid down on this page and I also have the inks laid down on Bristol board, scanned that in through my large format scanner. This is an 11 by 17 piece of artwork. I pushed through an 11 by 17 scanner, came out with this. I'm in Photoshop 2021. Adobe Photoshop. So the first thing I do is I go up to the image menu and I choose levels. That brings up a menu that allows me to use these sliders to adjust the blacks and the whites. So what I want to try to do here is get the blacks as deep as I want without overdoing it and then pulling the white in a little bit. This page is from Albatross Junction, my newest comic. And then this middle slider here in levels can adjust center level between black and white. So I'm gonna get that as, get this black a little deeper here. Once you've gotten it to the point that you like it, we're going to hit OK. Now, if you're using the comic book style pages like I'm using from one of the uh, sources that prints the cyan marks for your crops and your bleeds, what we're going to do is get rid of those right now. So you can see uh, this is from the volume one of Albatross Junction issue one. Uh, page 30. There's not much I'm going to do about those pencil lines there, but I, I am going to get rid of these blue, non repro blue marks by doing one trick. I'll show you right now. So these marks go all along the page, but they're visible where there's some page, uh, some paper showing through. So we're going to go up to image again. I'm going to go to black and white. It's going to bring up another menu in Adobe Photoshop 2021. What I'm going to do is move the cyan's slider all the way to white. Sometimes it shows it on the screen for me. There it goes. Disappeared. So you can see the cyan non repro blue, uh, blue lines disappeared. I'm going to hit OK. That's what I was in that menu for. Let's back up again, take a look at the entire page and do a one further adjustment before moving to the coloring phase is what we're gonna uh, go to the brightness contrast tab. I'm going to adjust just a little bit of contrast to get those blacks even blacker. That's just a little bit though. I have that at as a six. I put my brightness at a five. I'm liking the way that looks on this page. I'm going to hit OK. OK, so that page is ready. I color in Procreate on an iPad using a stylus. You can color in Adobe Photoshop or any number of programs. I use a multiply level on top in Procreate, and that's where my main colors go, and then highlight colors go on top of that layer laying potentially on top of blacks, but using the multiply feature on the layer above uh, the uh, black and white in Procreate will allow you to actually lay your colors that'll look like they're underneath the um, black ink, which is, which is quite nice. Let me just show you one more page how to do it. So we'll go through it on this page as well with one change. I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Levels, we're going to move this slider until this page 32 from Albatross Junction gets the blacks black enough. Let's see what happens if I move my slider for white. OK, 
Okay, I'm liking that. Also, make sure your screen is bright enough, guys. Like, make sure you're not like me and you're looking at too dark of a screen because I'm working at night. But I do want to get this right, so you just got to kind of adjust. Now, some of my inks were done with a brush, so I can still see some of those brush lines through, which is okay with me. I, I like that, particularly... Let me hit OK on this, particularly, uh, get the magnifying glass out, particularly in this section here, I'm OK with those lines. You have to figure out if you're OK with having inks that way or if you want it totally blacked, uh, what you can do. Another image adjustments menu is the curves. Uh, curves can further adjust your black and white image and actually it is helping my image a little bit so I'm going to I'm gonna say okay on that and then we are going to go to adjustments black and white which is also going to turn our artwork into black and white by the way so it's not only taking away this cyan I'm taking away the cyan slider to get rid of my crop marks uh, for now because I'm laying out my own book and I'm going to further expand the page. It's up to you whether you want to erase the non-repro blue lines for you depending on your workflow. So decide on that. I'm getting rid of the, uh, blue, the uh, non-repro blue for input into the next phase which is color. You can do what you want to do but this stage of taking that out actually turns the document to black and white format so you just have to be aware maybe save it as something else save it as final or something like that so that's how you do it that's how to get your comic book page from black and white hand-drawn image put it through your scanner make these adjustments and you'll be on your way to great colors for either yourself if you're doing it or passing it on to the colorist. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe right here to Comic Book Creation Live, and I'll see you in the next one.